Today I show you what happened to the rotate button on your Samsung Galaxy Android phone and how to get it back. After updating to One UI 7, you might be missing the rotate button. This actually was from before, from One UI 6.1. And you have this option where you want to rotate a website or a YouTube video and you get this kind of uh, notification about the rotation. That symbol is when you do a manual rotate, but this is because you have the automatic rotate function off. So how do you enable? How do you enable the rotate function in One UI 715 on Samsung? Well, where is it? It's pre pretty hard to find because they changed something and I don't know why they did it like this. Samsung decided to rename the rotate button, the, the orientation button. So you could try to find it in the list of buttons you could add to your quick settings or the quick panel. Or you could even check if you have the quick settings and the, the notifications merged or separate. But this is the button here. You have portrait now. When the orientation is fixed to portrait, it will say portrait. Instead of showing rotate and showing disabled, it shows portrait. And the worst thing is actually it's changing now the, the text when you rotate it. So it's pretty confusing. Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Maybe it's not such a big deal, but it's really confusing the first time when you look for it. You can't find it. I couldn't find it. So I had to go through each, each icon in the quick settings until you, you find the portrait. So that's how you do it. Now the screen rotates automatically as it should be because you know where it is now. The setting, you can easily change it back to fixed. You want it to be in portrait mode. When you are in bed, for example, and you hold your phone horizontally and you want to read some article and you want to read it vertically, this I do this so the screen doesn't rotate. But this is not happening very often, but still you might need it. Now, the most useful thing is to rotate the screen when you need it, because most probably you will be watching a video, YouTube video, or any kind of content that you watch you're going to want, want to rotate. You can always enable or disable this function. It's always there. Just I wish the name was a little bit different and it wouldn't change the name like that. But yeah, you can also separate or combine the notifications panel and the quick panel, the quick settings panel. This is a new change in One UI 7. I understand some things might be better, so you just need to get used to them. But um, I don't know, I really believe this didn't have to be like this. They could have kept the rotate symbol and only enable or disable. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? Was it easy to find the orientation, the uh, lock rotation or the lock rotate or allow rotate? If you keep your Samsung phone in portrait mode, you can manually rotate content, videos, websites. You can use these buttons that show next to this this here on the lower right corner. If you don't press it in time, you have to rotate it back and then you have to you it gives you a bit of time to press it. But if you don't want to press it, it means it, it's um, you don't want it. For me, the easiest way is to have it like this with the auto rotate enabled and I can easily watch a video like that. Let me know if this video was useful and also what you want to find out about your Samsung phone or other phones. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.